I give you the fabulous, the fantabulous, the fantastic. by this new fragrance by Hugo Boss. It's called Elements. Elements. Yes, yeah, so and you can buy the cologne and you can get samples over here. We have sample people giving them out. Check it out. And also, we have a special blue martini tonight. It's called The Boss. And if you buy the martini, you're going to get a ticket at the end of the show. You're going to get a fabulous, fabulous prize worth a lot of money, over $100. So buy yourself a blue martini. It's called The Boss, okay? But you should get another one, sir. Good boy. <laughs> Okay, our chance is to win. Now, this is a very special year this year, everybody. I don't know if a lot of you realize this, but this is actually the 40th anniversary since the Stonewall Riots happened in New York City. June 27, 1969, there was a riot at a gay bar in New York called the Stonewall. And the drag queens and the hustlers and the real rough crowd at this bar actually were tired of the police harassing them. They fought back, and it was the beginning of what we call gay equality, gay rights. And it, would, it took a revolution to make it worldwide. Look at us, 40 years later, I'm standing out here in a dress, and nobody's going to arrest me yet. <laughs> Oh my god, and we're living in this great city with the largest pride in North America. Now that's something you cheer about, isn't it? It sure is. You might like the cuffs on you, but you don't want to be arrested, right? Well, I might like the cuffs. That's what I mean. Okay, that's the issue. I kind of, you know. <laughs> okay, so we thought since we're doing, we're looking back 40 years ago, in 1969, there was this international group that came out of Sweden. They were absolutely the largest band in the world for 10 years. And we thought it would be fun to look at their music as a backdrop to our show tonight. So we're going to take you back to the 70s. There were these two girls and two guys who formed a band. There was Anna, Frida, there was Bjorn, Benny, and Agnetha, better known as... Abba! Yes! Trip question! Okay, I'm doing some trivia because we might be getting surprises later. A sad part of 1969 was that the great Judy Garland had just died that night. She died in 1969, June 27th. I remember it well because I was in kindergarten. Ish. And I had to take a week off school, Jerry. I was so upset. Well, I was. And then my mother put me in therapy, and I've never been right since. And look at me now. <laughs> Isn't this a mess? Okay. Are you guys ready to have some fun tonight? Woo! All right. We thought it was quite appropriate to kick off our show with the number one song, the very first number one song that ABBA had, and I think it's quite appropriate because it deals about revolution, and it's called Waterloo Bugly Boys!
it? My name's Courtney. Courtney, everybody, isn't that great? Thank you, Courtney, and you're very attractive. And I love your big musket. Well, don't you, Jerry? Oh, how's your salad, dear? Is it fresh? Oh, oh, oh. Everything is fresh at Cafe California, including the waiter. Thank you. Oh, oh did I say? Hey. Okay, where's Steve? Come on out here, baby. Dying to get laid. Oh yeah. 